This is the story of Pinocchio. Little Pinocchio, just made of wood. There was an old man who had a little shop. All day long he chop, chop, chop. He made lots of toys and puppets out of wood and so many things that were all so good. The little old man, he lived all alone. He had no son he could call his own. Decided one day when work was done that from a piece of wood he would carve a son. So he grabbed a piece of wood and went chop, chop, chop. When all of a sudden a voice cried, Stop! Stop! Ouch! You're hurting me! The little old man couldn't believe his ears. He was never so happy in all his years. His dream is coming true, and if it's so, call the little wooden boy Pinocchio. So the little old man, whose name was Geppetto, kept on carving and chopping. And every time he chopped, he thought he heard a voice cry out. Ouch! Ouch! That hurts! Now you're tickling me! <laughs> Geppetto grew very excited and worked faster and faster. First he made a wooden head, then the eyes, then a long nose, and then came the mouth. No sooner than he had finished the mouth, the little wooden face cried out again. Yeah! Stop cutting me up! Don't worry, Pinocchio. I won't hurt you. You're going to be my son, and I will be your father. I, Geppetto, will take very good care of you. Geppetto started in to carve again. First Pinocchio's left arm, then his right, then Pinocchio's left leg, and finally his right leg. As soon as Pinocchio felt his two legs, he jumped out of Geppetto's hands, ran around the room, and out the open door into the street. Come back, Pinocchio! Come back, Pinocchio! You naughty little boy! But Pinocchio paid no attention and kept running down the street singing, I'm a funny little boy that's made of wood. I'm carved from a limb of a hickory tree. I have a wooden head and a long, long nose. Everybody laughs when they look at me. He's made of wood from a hickory tree. He's got the longest nose that you ever did see. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, that's his name. He has no sense and he has no shame. Catch me, catch me if you can. I can run faster than anyone can. Poor old Geppetto ran after Pinocchio as fast as his old legs could carry him, but Pinocchio was too quick for him. At last Geppetto got tired of running and turned back to his house. He said to himself, Oh well, Pinocchio will be back in a little while because he has no place to sleep. Hours passed, but still Pinocchio had not returned, and at last Geppetto fell fast asleep. Poor old Geppetto fell fast asleep. The next morning, Geppetto and all the friendly people of the village set out to find Pinocchio, calling out, Pinocchio, 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 we'll find you if we have to go to Tokyo. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, Pinocchio. After hours of walking and searching, Geppetto came to the shore of a great big ocean, and there at last he spied Pinocchio. Catch me, catch me, if you can. I can swim faster than anyone can. Pinocchio dived into the water and started to swim out to sea as fast as he could. Geppetto jumped into a rowboat and set out to catch his little wooden son. He was rowing his boat when suddenly... A huge spray of water shot up right in front of him. Shh! And there, before his very eyes, was a great big whale. <laughs> Geppetto became very frightened and cried out, Pinocchio! Pinocchio, help me! And then, with one big gulp, the whale swallowed Geppetto, boat and all. <laughs> Silly old man! I knew he couldn't catch me! So Pinocchio swam back to shore and stood on the beach laughing. Suddenly, a good fairy appeared. You're a naughty little boy, and you ought to be ashamed. Geppetto is in trouble, and you're the one to blame. I am a bad boy, but I'll be good from now on. You'll see. 
Once more, Pinocchio dived into the water and swam to the spot where the whale was sleeping. Mr. Whale! Mr. Whale! Wake up! Wake up! The whale rolled around and looked at Pinocchio. What do you want, little wooden boy? Mr. Whale, please eat me up. I'm not hungry. I just had my supper. Besides, I'm sleepy. Go away. And so when the whale opened his mouth to yawn, Pinocchio swam into his mouth and down into his belly. I've come to save you, Father. I'll get you out. Pinocchio picked up the driftwood from Geppetto's boat and then lit a match to it. What are you doing, cried Geppetto. I'm building a great big fire. Now watch what happens. And soon the smoke from Pinocchio's fire made the whale sneeze and snort. Then with one final great big sneeze, he opened his mouth and blew Pinocchio and Geppetto high into the sky. Over the water they sailed and landed safely on the beach. There stood the good fairy. You really are a good boy, Pinocchio, and you shall be rewarded. And then with one stroke of her magic wand, Pinocchio turned into a real live boy. Oh, look at me, oh, look at me. I'm a real live boy. Gee, I'm happy, gosh, oh, gee. I'm a real live boy. 